Hello, my name is Caden, and today I'm gonna try the best I can to explain uh, all about uh, Code 42 and if, on uh, OBD1 GM. Uh, this is the 1990 Pontiac Bonneville, of course. Um, what Code 42 is, is for the uh, electronic spark timing. Um, and the reason that code trips is because it loses uh, this bypass circuit um, here. And you, if you have a Haynes manual, you can go to uh, your wiring, your chassis electrical system. And basically, it loses this bypass control. Um, and this is your ignition module here. And this is like your 14-pin connector, right? So how that works, basically, is... Uh, once the engine exceeds 400 RPMs on startup, uh, the ECM takes over uh, the ignition timing instead of the ignition control module. Now, something happened to me uh, a couple weeks ago, and I'm going to explain it here. So uh, I was taking an exit onto the interstate, and... The check engine light came on and all of a sudden the car started to buck and hesitate really harshly um, as if, you know, the transmission was broken or something and it felt awful. And um, now this is important whether this does this or not. Um, the tachometer would constantly be dropping to zero and back up to wherever I was trying to be at with the foot on the pedal. Um, and that is because you keep losing your tachometer signal, um, which your tachometer signal strictly comes out of the ignition control module itself. And it has these buffer switches and these amplifiers inside. And that is what usually goes bad inside the ignition control module itself. Um, but that's not always the case. Now, uh, say if it stalls and it does not restart and you get a crank no start, but you've had uh, the code come on before it stalled. So it doesn't start back up, right? Um, most of the time that is either bad wiring or bad wiring to the crankshaft position sensor, which I have had in the past before happened to me. Um, so, of course, what I do, uh, I got this car home and I couldn't get it to repeat what it was doing. It drove home just fine, but the check engine light was on the whole time, right? So it lost this uh, signal. Um, uh, obviously, check the wiring, uh, wiggle the like big harness, and if you wiggle that harness and it constantly like dies or you feel it hesitate or jump assume that's your issue and tighten that plug down because that's something that can happen before um so you can actually get these uh ignition modules uh what i would do is take your ignition control module off and you can actually go get that tested at an o'reilly's and they will be able to tell you if your ignition control module is bad or not now, if they tell you it's bad, I mean, great. And then you know you just need another ignition module, which ended up being my case. The ignition control module had failed, and I figured it was that because of it constantly losing that tachometer signal. Now, if it doesn't lose that tachometer signal, well, it still could be the ignition module. You should still get it tested, but you have to double, triple check for bad wiring so because a year ago i had bad wiring i had two wires that had melted together on my uh, crankshaft position sensor the wires going down to it um right up kind of against the block it had gotten too hot too for too long and just melted them together so it would run fine cold you'd drive for 30 minutes uh, halfway down the highway and then it would stall right and it would not restart you'd have no spark right and then hours later it would start up again well that's almost always bad wiring or overheating electrical parts which overheating electrical parts are usually caused by bad wiring uh remember that um 
and so that's what I found out was the issue and I replaced the wiring harness but it also damaged the ignition module and my crankshaft sensor so just some things to check for um, hopefully this helps you definitely um, get one of these Haynes manuals check out this wiring schematic kind of tells you a little bit more like you see you have your camshaft sensor your crankshaft position sensor that gives input to your uh, uh, ignition module and that's when it goes through all these switches inside the module itself and it relies on that so get your ignition module tested if you're having any of those symptoms if it's not bad normally it's going to be bad wiring or a bad crankshaft position sensor or even a bad ECM itself which is possible but not usually super common Anyway, I hope this helps a little bit. Just thought I'd make a short video today before the snowstorm comes in later today. Um, and I will catch you all in the next one.